what is up guys it is esports content entertainment coming at you guys with another video here today and in today's video we are going to be talking about unforgiven and 100 thieves so mad lions had Carzy during 2020 and 2021 but they moved on from Carzy in 2022 when they brought in unforgiven from the erls so then they play with unforgiven all year they miss playoffs during the lec 2022 spring split now during the final week of the LEC 2022 Spring Split, that Super Week, Mad Lions actually won all their games, but they had lost too many games before that to make playoffs. And then they bring in Niski, they send off Reeker back to the ERLs because he definitely wasn't ready to play in the LEC. And during the LEC 2023 Summer Split, Unforgiven made the All-Pro team, uh, which and I think he was one of the best ADCs in the league, so that's pretty fair. I think Upset or Comp probably should have maybe have gotten it, but Unforgiven is not a bad choice for that. Then, obviously, Mad Lions failed in the playoffs for the LEC 2022 Summer Split, and then they went to Worlds 2022 play-in stage, and then they got knocked out by Evil Geniuses 3-0 during the L during the 2022 League of Legends World Championship play-in stage. And then, Mad Lions are going to go and get Karzy from Team Vitality. Karzy was one of the worst AD carries in the LEC, and Mad Lions are like, you know what, I know we got a really good AD carry right here that we kind of brought up, and he was doing pretty good for us. But you know what? That guy, Karzy, he was tearing it up on Team Vitality, right? No, the fuck he wasn't. Karzy stunk in 2022. Makes no sense why you would move on from him to Karzy. Just makes no sense, right? So then, Unforgiven, obviously, he put out on his Twitter account, like I mentioned before, that, you know, that doesn't have a team. And this kind of is a wrench in everything. Because, like I've mentioned before, with any offseason that has ever existed... Anything and everything can happen. Nothing is officially set until pen is put to paper and those signatures are there, right? So then we have this tweet that comes out from LEC Wulo, which is, Sources, bot laner Unforgiven will play for 100 Thieves next year. It is not known yet whether he will play in the LCS or Academy team. Carmine Corp was interested in the player, but he committed last night. That is interesting, because remember guys, the big rumor, Spica, Doublelift, and Bjergsen. Now, Unforgiven is actually pretty good. I, like, I know Worlds wasn't too kind to him, but if you look at his, you know, year in the LEC overall, it's pretty good, right? But right now, we don't know. Is Unforgiven going to play on the main team or the academy team? Who would you, who would you choose between? The kind of promising rookie coming up and having a like really good showing, obviously, in the LEC. So so world championship, but you know, at your first world championship, you know, you cannot play so well. Happens, right? Or do you go with double lift who's been I'm not gonna say he's like washed up because he, he can still play very well. But the thing here is who do you go for? I mean, getting unforgiven is not bad. He's definitely a pretty good player, all things considered. But getting double lift maybe might give him that clutch factor? I, I really don't know. Now, there's a good chance that the whole Spica, Bjergsen, double if move doesn't go because they might just want to come as a package deal and not want to come as just a duo because that would obviously look really bad. It just, just depends because, guys, the offseason is really crazy. This wouldn't be a bad pickup either because I know, like, maybe the Hunter Thieves fans would go, but we didn't get double lift, uh, but... He's not bad. This isn't a bad player to get at all. You know, it's a fine player, in my own personal opinion. You know, that would be an actual, like, technically an upgrade over FBI. Not, I mean, not even technically. He played better than FBI all year anyway. So you'd be getting an upgrade in the AD carry position anyway. I think the move of Bjergsen over Abadaga is really not that good, all things considered, when you really look at it. But then again... Who gives a fuck, honestly? It, it, like, 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 when you make a team, it's pretty much just rolling the dice anyway. So, we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, But yeah, Unforgiven is joining 100 Thieves. But is he playing on the main team or the LCS team? We'll just have to wait to find out. Because the LEC 2022 offseason is pretty much all done. I have a video coming out recapping everything about that. I'm going to drop you guys the videos in advance that I already recorded, and then you're going to be getting this video. So this is going to be intended with all the off-season content I have been producing. Like I told you guys before, I really, really want to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark by the end of the year. And if I don't, that's perfectly fine, but I want to get to that point 
and that mark as close as I can. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do. We are trying to reach 1,000 subscribers on the channel. So I will see you guys later. Like, comment, and subscribe. Most of all, enjoy. I am MSK, and this is Esports Content Entertainment, your one place for esports content. All right, guys. Peace.